Hi there, it's Dawn from Conversations. I have a confession to make, and I'm not, well, so there's a saying, take my advice, I'm not using it. That's what my confession is about. I started a contest on Friday, I believe I put it out there for a $25 gift card. I wanted people to subscribe and then say what advice was uh, the best that they had gotten from one of my episodes and nothing was happening. Nothing was happening. And I was starting to panic. I was embarrassed because I put it out there and I wasn't getting any, I, people were looking at it, but no one was commenting. I wasn't getting any advice. So I started going down that spiral that I have tried so hard to read about and learn about how to not do that, how to not get into those mind games that we do where I was just like, nobody likes my show. Nobody's gotten anything from it. Nobody wants to interact. Maybe nobody's listened. Maybe nobody's gotten good advice from my podcast. I just spiral, spiral, spiral. So I thought, okay, maybe I'll just take it down. I'll just take it down because it's just embarrassing to publicly put yourself out there and then have no feedback, nothing. And I thought, just wait, just wait. And then I thought, okay, maybe I'll see if somebody in my family will comment something just to save myself from being embarrassed. And yesterday I was babysitting my grandkids, busy, preoccupied, too too busy to sit there and think about my post that I had put out there, knowing that I was going to have to announce a winner on Monday at noon. And I didn't know what I was going to do about that if I was just going to say there wasn't a winner because there was no replies. I, I wasn't sure how I was going to handle it, but I was too busy, too busy with my grandkids to care. And that was the biggest blessing I could have asked for because I stepped away, stepped out of my head and was blissful in just knowing, okay, I don't need to worry about it. And when I handed off the grandkids, went to dinner with my husband, checked my YouTube account, and I just want to thank everybody that commented, you have no idea how good you made me feel with all of your comments. So I am going to um, read those because I want to acknowledge you and I want to thank you because it really meant a lot. So I hope you're watching. I hope that you didn't just realize that you didn't win the contest because I made the announcement on a separate video. Um, but I, I really hope you're here because I, this message is for you and I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for not only subscribing or being a sub subscriber, but just for your input and for helping me to not think poorly of myself. And I hate that I let myself get to that. Because that's exactly what I'm trying to promote on this channel is just doing your thing, being a creator and not caring. And I, I went there. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So our winner, I'll just say first was Mary Ann Gabriel 88. And I announced that already on uh, YouTube, but in case you didn't see it yet, Mary Ann Gabriel 88, you are the winner. And I will save your comment for last. Um, so I put these, I was trying to print them off. I'm old school people. So I was trying to print these off so that I could read them from a piece of paper. But um, I, yeah, it didn't work out. I think I was out of ink or something. Okay. So um, I don't want to say anybody's names wrong or whatever. It's R-A-Z-A-O-P-3168. So razao p 3168 said in my one year of being sober video in the middle of the video, you cry. Yes, I did. Unfortunately, after you say, just see it, 
see, try it. You won't regret trying it about being sober. And if you try it and then you go back, don't feel shame about it. Don't feel negative about yourself. That is the best line. I appreciate that so much. That was a super humbling, scary um, episode for me to talk about being sober and going sober. That was very personal. And so I'm glad that you got something out of it. I'm glad you liked it. Um, and I do mean that from the bottom of my heart that you could, if you're wondering what, what sobriety is like, you can try it. That's, you can try it. And if you like it, then keep going. And if you don't, and you then feel shame about it, um, just try again. Never hurts to try. Okay. The next is Kyle for real. And they said the video on how to deal with rejection and love work in life. This video is a real push to step out of our comfort zones. You said, quote, you need to take chances. Don't stop out of fear of rejection. You need to make a choice. Stay where you're safe or face rejection because it's a part of life and it's time to turn it around. Um, I loved that, that rejection episode. I felt like that was the most raw episode that I have made to date, even over the sobriety. Well, maybe tied up with the sobriety one, but um, I just love that episode so much. I feel like I just would put that as my one, my top one. I loved it um, because rejection again. I that's what I was feeling. That's what I was feeling on Friday and Saturday. I was feeling so rejected after putting myself out there, and all the things that went through my mind. Oh. I hate that we do that to ourselves. I just hate it. And I was confronted with that 100% this weekend. Um, the Silver I Dude 25, the title of my podcast episode that they're commenting on is What is Wrong With You? This video is such a boost of motivation. Even when doubt creeps in, it's important to stay committed to creating and pursuing what matters to you. Consistency and perseverance lead to the biggest breakthroughs. So true. And thank you so much for your comment. I honestly hate that I left this up to me to make the decision on, on who was going to win this contest instead of having it just be a random um, computer drawn contest because I am terrible at making decisions. I, if anybody knows me, they know that. And I would have picked everybody. I would have given, if I had the money, I would have given a $25 gift card to everybody because you guys all just made me feel so good. So here's the names. Um, I need to move this. I honestly don't know what's happening right now. Um, going to move this over. There we go. Uh, so you can see, hopefully they're not backwards, but I've got your names there. I want to make sure to acknowledge you and I'll put your names in the comments too. But um, okay. So then we have, it looks like Charlie Red 54703. Try it and you won't regret trying it in the one year of being sober it, video. So that was said twice. That's great that um, people really liked that. That message resonated yeah, if if you are struggling back and forth with should I go be sober, should I drink, what should I do? I feel lost. Just try and quit and pray. Pray to whoever you would pray to, your higher self or um I, I for people that aren't religious, which is fine, you don't have to be, but in my mind my question for you is if my hair, my lord, if something was going on in your family, or with your pet or a best friend, somebody really close to you and something catastrophic, what do you do? Do you, I, I'm honestly asking, do you, do you don't pray or, and if you do pray, who do you pray to? It doesn't have to be my God um, or a God. I, I just, am, I don't know. Comment. I would love to know, enlighten me. Cause I, this is, again, this is not me judging. I was born and raised Catholic, but I'm not a practicing anything right now. I just, um, I, I'm curious what, what you do in those situations. If somebody, you know, is dying of cancer or was in a 
fatal car accident. I do you do you pray? Again, please comment because I I really do want to know and I would be open to having the discussion. Um Colin Cena, C-O-L-L-I-N-S-E-N-A, Colin Sena, uh, said, keep creating, keep doing, in quotes, creativity and persistence are key to achieving anything. This advice tells me to keep pursuing passion and progress, even in the face of setbacks. See, I need to take my own advice. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I just give people advice and and I don't listen to myself. That's a uh, fault and I'm going to have to start tweaking. Um, the next one is Ambrose Tate 91. <clears throat> the video on how to deal with rejection in love, work, and life. This video is a real push to step out of our comfort zones. We can't let fear of rejection paralyze us because that's where real growth and opportunity lie. Taking chances is how we move forward. Here, see, here we go. I need to just take this advice. I need to clip this and put it on my mirror or something. Because I'll tell you what, if I if I would have seen this Friday or Saturday, if it would have been out there for me, maybe it would have snapped me out of my funk of just, I need to just quit my podcast. Nobody cares what I have to say. Nobody's listening. It's just out there in cyberspace somewhere and falling on deaf ears. So thank you, Ambrose Tate 91, for taking my advice and, and liking it. It looks like David Fina, Fina, P-H-Y-N-A. There's no right or wrong. Don't let anybody ever make you feel that you're doing it wrong or that you should be over something in a certain period of time. That is in regards to grieving during the holidays. That was another really raw one for me. Gosh, maybe people just like it when I, <laughs> oh my nose, when I just pour my guts out. Ah, I don't want to cry, but that episode was, you know, really, hold on. It was a really tough topic for me because when you have lost somebody close to you, you, you do feel so lost and there's no, I mean, there might be books out there, but until you go through it yourself, you don't understand. You just don't. You can sympathize with somebody and show them empathy, but if you have not been through it, uh, you really just can't give any type of advice. And I have been through it, unfortunately. And I just wanted to make sure that people knew that there's no perfect that there's no perfect way to grieve. It's your way. However, you can get through it. So thank you, David, Fina, Fina. Thank you for that. Uh, Carlton Armstrong, 57, quote unquote, there's no right or wrong. This is empowering because it encourages individuality and reminds us that everyone has their own timeline. Again, this is about grief. The fear of being judged can be paralyzing, but this advice helps people embrace their process without, oh, maybe this isn't about grief. This might be about rejection. I'm going to read it again. Geez, Dawn. Okay. There's no right or wrong. This is empowering because it encourages individuality and reminds us that everyone has their own timeline. The fear of being judged can be paralyzing, but this advice helps people embrace their process without unnecessary comparison. I loved that. Carlton Armstrong, you almost won the contest. I just wanted to let you know that I... I really, really liked what you said. I liked what everybody said, but you know, there that totally touches on what I was dealing with with rejection. Um, I this is oh, so let me put you guys as <laughs> I don't even know what order I'm on. <laughs> I'm so sorry that I'm not techie. There's the names of those people, and then I started a new page. Okay. We go. Thank you guys so much. Okay, so now I'm at Clara D. Traveler. Am I saying that right? Um, that's what it looks like. Clara D. Traveler. 
And I want to know what that stands for, what that, what your name means, if you're willing to share, comment, put it in the comments, or you can send me a message. I, I just would truly like to know. You can send it to conversations at gmail.com. Uh, and your message was the advice of turning rejection into something positive in the rejection video is so powerful. The video motivates me to stop playing it safe and start taking more chances because that's the only way to truly live and grow. Spot on. I needed you guys. I needed you guys. <laughs> Why did you comment sooner? I just needed your input and to know that you're listening and getting something out of my episodes. I can't even, I need to take my own advice. I need to take your advice, Clara D. Traveler. I need to keep these. I'm going to keep these comments. When I can get my printer to work, I'm going to print these off. Great Freely, G-R-E-A-T, Freely. You said in the grieving video don't let anybody make you feel that you're doing it wrong. What resonates most with me is the idea that we're never doing it wrong, just differently. Sometimes it's hard to let go of external expectations, but this advice really reinforces that there's no rush. Thank you for saying that. Ugh, I hate that I had to go through grief to learn that lesson, but it makes me a, a better person, I feel like, for somebody that's going through it. Now I can give them advice like, like you just reminded me of. So you guys are great. You guys just, this, this made, this made my day yesterday. Last night I was just, I kept seeing comment, comment, comment. I was like, oh my, like that Sally Field. They like me. They really, <laughs> oh gosh. Okay. Lame fan 48. Love the name by the way. I love the encouragement to keep going. Oh, I'm sorry. Keep doing the thing that you're doing on the what is wrong with you video. It can be easy to doubt yourself, but this video reminds me to push through and keep creating because persistence is key. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you. Thank you for the reminder. Thank you. Why can't we take our own advice? Why, why, why? Um. And Marianne Gabriels, I'm going to come back to that. And then we have Nellie Nosa Violet. So these, if you guys can see, I'm sorry. I hope I've got this. Ooh, there we go. Hopefully you can read my writing. It's horrible. Nellie Nosa Violet said in the What is Wrong With You video, you said that we should keep creating. We should keep doing what we're doing. I have a Facebook page where I talk about sports, but it's not getting any views. I just watched the video again and I will never give up. I'll keep going. This advice is so inspiring. Even when things feel tough or uncertain, staying consistent with your craft and creativity is what leads to progress. It's a great reminder to keep going no matter what. Thank you so much for saying that. And I want you to message me or put in the comments what your Facebook page is so that anybody in this group or anybody watching can go to your Facebook page and we can watch. I am not huge into sports, but I will definitely go and see your page. And last but not least, wait, hold on. What is this? What did I write? Yeah, I showed, I showed their names. Okay. <laughs> I think I need I need some kind of help here. Okay. Hopefully you guys are getting to see all my chins. Okay. Marianne Gabriel. Let me move this. Marianne Gabriel 88 with the smiley faces. Said, take chances. Don't stop out of fear. Encouraging people to push past fear and embrace rejection is pivotal. Rejection isn't the end, but a stepping stone. This resonates with the idea that to grow, you need to face discomfort and not retreat into safety. So true. Thank you so much. Guys, I just can't even express. I hope you understand in my, I'm trying to get my camera, in all of my blabbing, how much this meant to me. This, I can't even, I hope 
that you stick around. I hope that you weren't just in it for the contest, not for me, but just because of what the, the, the advice that I just want you to know how much you helped me. You helped me so much to get out of my funk and to realize that messages that I put out there helped. That's all I want to do. I just want to help. And I am not being fake. I am being 100% genuine. This meant so much to me. I'm going to put everybody's names in the um, description box. Like I said, if I had the money to give everybody a $25 gift card, I would. I um, care for the elderly part-time, and then I just do this podcast for fun. So I, I just wanted you guys to know that what you what you did for me meant way more than you could ever imagine. Thank you so very much. Marianne, please reach out to me and I will get you your $25 gift card. I can randomly sometimes do a $50 gift card. I also have merch. If anybody's interested, I have two um, Donversations shirts. One's um, more a sweatshirt and the other one's just like a regular, uh, that wicking material. And I can do those for a giveaway if anybody would be interested. Otherwise, you know, money's always good. Um, I don't know how long this has been going, probably too long. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. I'm in the middle of a book right now. Anthony, if you're watching, I'm in the middle of your book. And I will try and do your review for your book next Monday. I, that's my plan. Uh, so for anybody that is wanting a book review, I will have one next Monday. I appreciate you being here. Thank you so much. I'm going to go ahead and get this aired so that if Mary Ann um, did not see my little short announcement, they will get this message. Thanks again so very much. Have a great day. Bye.